Okay, class, now we're on to muscles that move the pectoral girdle. And basically, we're just talking about muscles that move the scapula. These muscles all insert on the scapula. Remember, whatever bone is inserted, that is what is going to be moved. So the first muscle we're going to be doing is the trapezius. Now the trapezius is a superficial back muscle, but I just wanted to show you, you are going to see it peaking um, from the front side too, and that is because of its insertion here. It's inserting on the lateral part of the clavicle right here. But let's have a look at the back side of the trapezius. So it's a huge superficial muscle. There is a left side and a right side. The origin, if you have your master list out, you can see where the origin is. It's going to start at the ex external occipital protuberance back in here. It's going to go into the ligamente nuche, which basically is the ligament that is connecting the spinous processes of C1 to C6 to help stabilize the cervical spine. The spinous process of C7, T1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is all spinous processes right smack dab in the middle of the back. The insertion. The insertion is going to be on the spine of the scapula here into the acromion process of the scapula. Let me get a little bit closer here. So the spine of the scapula, acromion process, and then it's going to go into that lateral one-third of the clavicle. So this is the insertion. So since this trapezius is such a large muscle, we're going to divide it into three sections. And these three sections are based on where their muscle fibers are going. So we're going to be starting with what we call the upper portion of the trapezius. Just highlight one side. And this upper portion of the trapezius, we're going to be looking at the direction of the muscle fibers. So the muscle fibers here, we can, oops, go back over here. So the muscle fibers here, we can see them going in an upward fashion. Let me get it a little bit closer. So the muscle fibers are going in an upward fashion. Move this over. So we're going to be saying it's going from I, insertion, up to the origin. So that is going to give us, see if I can draw this arrow, I, whoa, pretty bad drawing, to O, that is going to be giving us elevation of the scapula. Pretty easy, just follow the muscle fiber directions. Then we're going to be going to this middle section of the trapezius. So now the middle portion of the trapezius. Here, again, we're looking at the direction of the muscle fibers. So the muscle fibers here are going in more in this direction. So we, once again, are going to say I, I to O, something like this, the direction I to O. So this is going to be pulling this, the scapula towards the midline, which is scapular retraction. So that is the middle portion of the trapezius. 
And now we're going to be looking at the lower portion of the trapezius. So here we see the direction of the muscle fibers, real easy, are going downward. So again, I to O is going to be in a downward direction. So we are getting depression of the scapula. So when you think of the trapezius, think of it as in three different sections. Upper portion will give you elevation of the, of the scapula, like you're shrugging your shoulders up. The middle portion, portion of the trapezius is going to give you scapular retraction, bringing it towards the midline. And the lower portion of the trapezius will give you scapular depression. Now our next muscle on your master list is levator scapulae. Now this muscle is deep to the trapezius. It's going to be up here. So we're going to go ahead and just fade this um, left trapezius. So you can see there's a multitude of deeper muscles deep to this trapezius. So we're going to get to the levator scapulate. Let's go ahead and get rid of the trapezius. And let's find our levator scapulate. Here it is. So this is levator scapulae. I am going to go ahead and isolate it just so you can see it because it's really hard to see um, where its origin is up in here. So let's isolate that. Turn it around. It's a back muscle. So let's have a look. So levator scapulae. If you're looking at your master list, you will see that the origin is in the transverse processes of C1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is its origin up in here. Its insertion is going to be at that superior border of the scapula up in here. So let's figure out what is its action going to be. I to O. So what is that going to be giving you? Real easy. I to O, it's going to give you elevation of the scapula. It's moving the scapula. It's pulling it up towards the origin. So easy, easy on this one. Its name is telling you what it's doing. Levator scapulae. It's levating, elevating the scapula. So that was the levator scapulae right there. Now we're going to go to our next muscle group. So let's get rid of this guy. Get, go away. Good. So now we're going to be going to our next group of muscles called the rhomboids. Now we have rhomboids minor. Here's rhomboids minor and rhomboids major. So let's get both of them. Now the rhomboids, basically you learn them as a group. So if you look at your master list and you see where their origins are, it's going to be the spinous processes of C7 all the way down to the spinous process of T5. So here is your origin, right here, midline, again on those spinous processes. The insertion, for minor, it's the medial border of the scapula. The, here's the medial border of the scapula near the 
the spine of the scapula. And for major, it's the medial border of the scapula, <clears throat> about down to the inferior angle, not quite down all the way to the inferior angle. So what you guys need to do for my class is just know this. I to O, basically it's going to be retracting the scapula. It's going to be pulling the scapula towards the midline. This is going to be scapular retraction. A little bit of pulling it up, but basically I just want you to know that the rhomboids as a group are going to be doing scapular retraction. And now remember, there's rhomboids on both sides. I'm just showing you the rhomboids on the left right here. But there's going to be a right-sided rhomboids also, deep to the trapezius. So just for a recap, we are going to say that the upper portion of the trapezius, along with the muscle that's just deep to it, the levator scapulae, those two muscles are synergist for elevation of the scapula. Then we're going to say the medial portion of the trapezius and the rhomboids, minor and major, those are all synergist for scapular retraction. Then we're going to, that's it, because we don't have a muscle that you need to know that's going to be um, a synergist for scapular depression, at least not for my class. So that's it for the, the scapular movers that are located on the back. These are back, basically back muscles. So now we're going to look at the front. So here we have our superficial front muscles. Now, the muscles that move the scapula that are located, that are pulling the scapula forward, they are deep to some of these superficial muscles. So one of them is going to be deep to this deltoid. So let me get rid of the deltoid here. And the other is going to be deep to the pec major. So let me get rid of that. And I'm also going to be getting rid of um, the external oblique. Let's just get rid of that guy too. So the first muscle you need to know that's on your master list is this muscle right here, pectoralis minor. Now remember, pectoralis minor is deep to pectoralis major. Do not think they have the same action. They are inserting in totally different places. Pectoralis minor is inserting on see if we can see it, the coracoid process of the scapula. So let's see if we can isolate that. So here is pec minor, inserting on the coracoid process of the scapula. So that means this part is going to be moving. And where is its origin? The origin is in um, ribs, the, the anterior surface of ribs 3, 4, and 5, and it's going to be near where the costal cartilage is. Remember, the costal cartilage is starting about right here. So this is the origin, the anterior surface, ribs 3, 4, and 5, near that costal cartilage. So the action would be what? Draw your arrow. I pulled to O, 
it's going to be bringing that scapula because it's inserted on the scapula it's going to be pulling that scapula forward that is scapular protraction bringing the scapula forward so that was pectoralis minor now our next muscle that is acting moving the scapula is the serratus anterior so it's i'm going to get rid of pectoralis minor here let's get rid of that and now let's look at serratus so serratus anterior this is kind of hard to see here you can see it on the anterior surface of the ribs here but let's isolate it to get a better look so here is the isolated serratus anterior so if you look at your master list you will see that the insertion is and in the anterior surface of the medial border of the scapula so the medial border of the scapula the anterior surface of the medial border so here's going to be the medial border but it's on the inside the anterior surface so it's on the inside the anterior surface of the medial border of the scapula it's on the anterior surface and the the origin is on the anterior lateral surface of ribs one two three four five six seven eight nine so basically here is the origin up front here in these um, ribs one through nine the insertion is back here on the anterior surface of the scapula so the action would be pulling the scapula in this direction so it is going to be moving the scapula forward that is protraction of the scapula so we have pectoralis minor and we have serratus anterior they are both anterior muscles their origin is anterior the anterior chest so they are both inserting on the scapula they are synergists for scapular pro traction bringing the scapula forward so these anterior muscles the pectoralis minor and serratus anterior that do protraction of the scapula they are antagonist to the muscles the rhomboids and the middle portion of the trapezius which are back muscles they are antagonists they are on opposite sides of the body and they are doing opposite actions so make sure you get that clear in your head also so we are done with the movers of the scapula and next we're going to be doing the muscles that move the shoulder joint